Before we start the weekly construction meeting, let me greet you a pleasant good afternoon. Welcome to our construction management meeting number 73, as cut off dated October 1 to 7, 2020. Furthermore, let me inform you that any comments or additional matter will discuss afterwards this video presentation. First, we bring you the update photos of building exterior. On the left screen, shown the facing it saw and Connecticut Street. And the other side, the elevation of Connecticut Street and Florida Street. For site accomplishment, dated October 1 to 7, 2020. For structural works, the activities are cancreting of 15 floor suspended slab, phase 2, and 17 floor elevator shear wall. And then, target is the 16th floor suspended slab and 18th floor elevator shear wall one. Progress photos for structural works. 15th floor columns at phase 1, 15th floor slab at phase 2, and 17th floor shear wall 2. Architectural works. Masonry. Activities for this week are 1. Construction of parking elevator at basement 4, 3 and 2, 2. CHB laying and plastering for CCTV room and fire command center. 3. Construction of elevator shear wall at basement 1 and ground floor. 4. Installation of elevator precast at 3rd floor. And 4. Rubbed cut of ceiling at phase 3, 4th floor. Progress photos for architectural works. Construction of parking elevator. And CHB laying for stair 2 at basement 4. Construction of parking elevator at basement 3. Construction of drop-down wall at basement 2. Construction of elevator shear wall at basement 1. Progress photos for architectural works at ground floor. 1. Construction of elevator shear wall. And 2. CHB laying and plastering of CCTV room and fire command center. Installation of elevator precast at 3rd floor. And rubbed cut of ceiling at 4th floor phase 3. As for accomplishment report, on glass walls, we have installed 20 glass panels on the front side of the building, facing its saw, and 22 glass panels on the left side facing Connecticut Street, as of the 7th of the month of October. Moreover, we have 5 glass panels installed along the rear side of the building facing Florida Street. The accomplishment for MEPS works. In 18th floor elevator lobby, first is the roughing installation for power, lighting and auxiliary system. Second is the branch line sleeving. Lastly is the arc and pipe sleeving. In 15th floor level phase 2 accomplishment. First is the sleeving of crossman and branch line. Second is the sleeving of FCU drain. Third is the roughing installation for power, lighting and auxiliary system. Fourth is the roughing installation for lighting and auxiliary at 14th to 15th floor level stair 2. Lastly is the sleeving of arc and drain. Installation of sewer and waste pipes, dunes pots and cold water supply pipes riser at 13th floor stair 2 pipe chase area. Riser installation of wet stand pipe at stair 1 pipe chase area from 8th to 12th floor level. Installation of GI potable and non-potable cold water supply pipe riser at stair 2 pipe chase area from 10th to 13th floor level. Next is the installation of FCU drain. Installation of FCU drain at 10th floor level. Hauling of GI sheets, ducting, for mock-up at 9th floor level. Installation of crossman line 6th floor level. Installation of crossman line at 5th floor level. Installation of crossman line and branch line at 4th floor level. Power layout at 3rd floor elevator lobby. Lighting layout at mezzanine floor elevator lobby. Installation of wet stand pipe from ground floor to second floor stair 1. In basement 2 level the activities are, first the fabrication of thick rubber insulation. Second is the fabrication of hangers and by pipes painting. Third is the fabrication of hangers and box painting. Lastly is the installation of warehouse for MDI contractors. In basement 4 level the activities is the feature lead for pumps. Accomplishment report and look aheads for cancreting and glass installation. This week accomplishment on cantreting as of October 1st to 7, 2020, were 15 floor columns, phase 1. Next, is 14 floor precast. Then 15 floor suspended slab, phase 2. And, 17 floor elevator, shear wall number 2. Lastly, 18 floor slab lobby. 
For one week look ahead, target October 1st to 7, 2020, is the 15 floor column. Then, 15 floor suspended slab phase 1. Next, 18 floor elevator shear wall 1. Then, 15 floor columns phase 2. Lastly, 16 floor columns phase 1. For two weeks look ahead, target October 8th to 14, 2020 are, 18 floor elevator shear wall 2. Next, 19 floor slab lobby. Then, 15 floor precast. Last, is the 16 floor suspended slab, phase 2. Now, we proceed on glass installation. For this week accomplishment is 10 floor red saw portion. On next week target, 10 floor, and 11 floor. In Connecticut side, for this week accomplishment is the 10 floor. In one week's target, is the 9 and 10 floor. For two weeks target, is the 11 floor. For louver installation. This week accomplishment is the 4th floor. Next week target, is the 3rd floor. In 2 weeks target, is the 2nd floor. Now we proceed on floor to side, this week accomplishment is the 8 and 10 floor. Next week target, is the 8 to 10 floor. Last, 2 weeks target, is the 9 and 10 floor. End of reports for cancreting and glass installation. Thank you. For the side preparation, for the upcoming week, would be the installation of embankments along the perimeter of phase 1 on the 16th floor. Also, we are looking forward to the installation of curtain glass walls on the 11th floor and the completion of installation of glass panels and louvers below. Project schedule and percentage accomplishment as of October 1 to 7, 2020. On milestone project update. The weekly update closed out floor for cancreting is the 18th floor which completed last October 18, 2020. 14th floor, October 6, 2020. Basement 4 SOG, October 2, 2020. For construction schedule. The update construction days elapsed as cut off date at October 1 to 7, 2020 is 580 days or equivalent to 48.86%. The construction day remaining is 607 days or 51.14%. For project accomplishment, the schedule for general requirements is 3.80% compared to actual percentage of 7.84%. For CSA, it's of 30.91% on schedule accomplishment while the actual percent is resulting of 29.20%. We call the attention for architectural works to fast track their work to dominance the number of days. In M, E, P, F, the accomplishment is behind on required schedule because the result of actual is lower compared to schedule accomplishment. The schedule accomplishment is 601% while the actual is 0.64%. In overall accomplishment, the result of schedule is 40.72% while the actual is 37.67%. Therefore, the result of schedule compared to actual is negative 305 percentage or equivalent number of days of 36 days. Accomplishment of cantreting works. Previous accomplishment on rebars is 5,579,000, 3.89 kilograms or 60.27%.
For this week, accomplishment is 57,848.69 kilograms, equivalent of 0.62%, with total installed of 5,636,852.57 kilogram with a cumulated percentage of 60.89%. In Formworks, previous accomplishment is 66,946.79 square meter or 42.10%. This week accomplishment is 1,470.02 square meter or equivalent of 0.92% with total installed of 68,416.81 square meter with a cumulated percentage of 43.03%. Last the concrete volume, previously it's at 19,501.41 cubic meter or 51.41%. This week accomplishment is 334.80 cubic meter or equivalent of 0.88% with total concrete port of 19,836.21 cubic meter with total accumulated percentage of 52.29%. For accomplishment report for architectural works is of October 7, 2020. First, I discuss the percent scope of work, Hebron accomplishment. For masonry, for this week, it gained 151% with total percent of 2347%. Next is the floor finishes, for this week, it's achieved 033% with total percent 21.76%. Then, glass and aluminum, has accomplished this week of 049% with total accomplishment of 19 o'clock percent. And last, painting works, this week the accomplishment is 002% and total accumulated of 002%. Rest sc For structural schedule. The update for this week on concreting work is the basement for G, 15 floor phase 2, 17 floor elevator shear wall 2, and 18 floor slab lobby. Target on next week is the 16 floor suspended slab phase 1 and 18 floor elevator shear wall 1. Manpower loading for October 1st to 7, 2020. Highest manpower were last Saturday and Tuesday, October 3rd and 5, 2020, at 340. Environmental health and safety update. Environmental health concern. Waste materials at passenger elevator and parking elevator. For safety concern. 15 floor elevator shear wall protection, then, protection of 15 floor elevator shear wall, followed by a 12th floor pipe chase cover, and sidewalk canopy facing its hall. For meeting agenda 1. Environmental health and safety update. For this week, safety man houses 18,936 hours and a date is 1,388,161 hours. 2. Construction issue. For concreting. The concrete volume is ahead on required target. The target volume is 276 cubic meter, while the actual volume is 335 cubic meter. Next concrete volume target is 239 cubic meter. A. Cancreting schedule, as per actual cancreting October 7, 2020A, 17 floor elevator shear wall 2, schedule is October 8, 2020, cancreted October 2, 2020, B, 15 floor phase 2, schedule is October 6, 2020, cancreted October 7, 2020, projection of cancreting October 8 to 14, 2020, C. 16 floor slab October 12, 2020, target is October 10, 2020, D. 18 floor elevator, shear wall November 1, 16, 2020, target October 9, 2020, B. Architectural works, masonry works, elevator secretor wall for fireman's lift, tiles pattern layout at T and B. Pipe chase and parking elevator, basement 4 to basement 1. Ground to third floor. Fourth floor, completion date October 16, 2020. Water tightness. Punch windows area, mezzanine to seventh floor, to AR low. Turnover of twelfth floor to AR low. Exterior sealant. C. Mepth works. Note. For acceleration of work. Plumbing works. 
ground to 11th floor, riser and horizontal pipeline. Fire protection works. Ground to 11th floor, cross main and branch line. 3. Owner special trade contractor. Irrigan. Schedule of reconciliation for installation, LC number 1 and Emma substation. Setting up plan of LVSG. 4. Other matters. CCTV, on ground floor drop off area. For office and hotel entrance. This is the end of our weekly presentation. Thank you and God bless.